I'm back. I went over. Just getting excited about Zerubbabel. JD Nigel, word of truth. Jeff Deloach, Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Word of truth. Coming to you from beautiful. Bolsa Chica State Beach. And world famous Huntington Beach, California. Surf City. So I got cut off. Getting all excited about Zerubbabel. Do people understand? Do, some of you do. My family, you get it. Hundred percent truth according to the Bible. GMS, you fuckers. Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bless the ears that hear it. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We exalt you. We come before you. We bow our heads to you. Give us strength. Give us power. Give us knowledge. Give us all your love. All right. Um, we we're talking about Zerubbabel in Zechariah. It talks about these seven lampstands, the menorah, and the seven. It represents the seven eyes of Christ, the seven spirits of the churches. The seven bowls, the seven, 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 seven. My phone number when I was a kid, 863-7772. My license plate, <laughs> uh, seven, 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 five C2. Um, yeah, sevens. Seven letters in my first name, seven letters in my last name. Seven years between my sister and I. The number of perfection. Anyhow. Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel. He's the one that came back with The Benjamites of Judah after the captivity of Babylon. Babylon is falling. Zion is rising. Um, we escaped Babylon. We were sent home by the Persians. Don't talk bad on Irad, you people. You can hate Iran, but don't hate the Persian people. Just saying. If you don't know what you don't know, then you better be careful what you don't know. If you don't know what you don't know. So, we we're talking about the branch. And I'm going to go to Romans right now because I think you got the idea. The branch, the vine, we have to abide in the vine. We have to be a part of the vine. We have to be... You churches need to be grafted in. These wicked Israelites, these fucking dumb motherfuckers, these stiff-necked, goofy, fucking God-denying Israelites like GMS. Oh, sorry, I'm starting to get fucking... They're getting broken off. Two-thirds will be destroyed. And it will come to pass that in the land of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, refining God's remnant. There's a thin bunch of us that are out here. We're scattered everywhere. How did we get scattered? Because the dimensions 
The Lord has a very, very precise regeneration machine. And those of us that have had seven lives, seven turns, boom, boom, we keep coming back. We're dimensionally superior. It's not the, not the correct word because there is no superior, but that's the only way I can explain it. We're dimensionally more complex, put it that way. Not superior. I misspoke. Complex. We're more complex. There's a complexity to the fallen angels. Dimensionally more complex. Spiritually more complex. Complex PTSD is what I call it. Okay, so we're talking about the branch. Here now, O Joshua, the high priest, then thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, those are the four and twenty-four elders and any of the other Israelites that are at his feet doing exactly what he says, even unto death. For you rapture, harpazo, um, brain-dead monkeys, don't go there. Don't. Don't go there. Danger. Stranger danger. Rapture. Harpato man. Zerubbabel. He's saying you got to be grafted in. Let's go to, let's just go to, let me finish this. Um, thou, um, who out there, who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. And he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, grace, grace unto it. Why a plain? Because we're on a flat fucking surface, people. Do you believe in globe earth? Forget about it. Forget about it. You're going to get fucked up. They've just been pushing this the last 100, 200 years. This Galilean, Copernicus, fucking spinning wet ball rocket bullshit. Come on, sir. I'm going to make it that a plane, you shall become a plane. It's, it's going to be plain to anyone who can hear and see. Put, make it plain upon tables. Make it plain upon the flat earth. Make it plain. Grace, grace unto it. Grace. You're here by grace. The Lord is going to open your eyes. You're on this channel because of grace. The Lord is make, trying to make peace with you. So be gracious and fucking follow. Be gracious. And come back every day and listen. If you have time, if you can do it. If not, listen when you can. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house, this temple. His hand shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. It is going to happen. It will fit. It's already been finished. People just don't know. I just went into that back in Revelation. when the, After the angels fell, after I came, it's been finished ever since I fell. The story is not going to change. No, 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 no. His word will endure forever. He will complete what he... It's already completed. But this is way back in Zechariah. This is saying, Know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. Who has despise the day of small things for they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven 
They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. <laughs> what did Satan say when God asked him, where you been, bro? Where you been, bro? I've been walking to and fro throughout all the earth. You fallen angel fuckers that talk bad on my brothers. You despise dignitaries. You have no graciousness to the ones that are here watching over your souls. Why do you think we have seven eyes? Because we see further than you. Can you get on board? Get in the boat. It's like trying to convince a little child to eat their spinach or whatever. Come on, people. For who has despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice. These seven rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. What's that? He's measuring the temple. He's seeing who's in there and who's not in there. We'd love to see that plumb line because we know we have a we have a mansion. The Lord said it. He's building us a temple. These are the eyes of the Lord which scan to and fro throughout all the earth. Why do the eyes scan? Because we're watchers, people. At least I am. I don't know what you are. You got to figure out what you are. Not, not my business. I'm just telling you the word of truth. I'm a fallen angel. I'm a Nephilim. I'm a fucking son of God. Get over it. Or get with it. So let's go back to the branch. Do you understand? They are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. How many times do we have to go into this? How many, how many people talk about the fallen angels like they know something? Everyone. Everyone thinks they know who the fallen angels are. Oh, those are of Satan. Whatever. Whatever. I laugh. I laugh. What a joke. People are so lost in their own fucking harpazo mind. I'm trying to find Romans. I'm kind of fucking agitated now. Ah. Well, I open to you. Man, the Lord just does not leave me alone on this stuff. Um, so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, the word of truth. But I say, have you not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Their sound, the key, went into all the earth. Where he just took me to exactly where we needed to go. What were we just talking about in these last videos? That Satan has the key to the bottomless pit. Here, how do you hear? You hear the key of life. But I say, have you not heard? Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the earth. Where, where were we just at? Going to and fro throughout all the earth. The fallen angels. Ho, 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 Nephilim. Fucking A. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation will I anger you. Who is the foolish nation? 
the fallen angels, the devils. Fucking GMS is a good example. They, if they're Israel, they're the worst kind of Israel ever. I, they're brothers that I can't wait to see. I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people. And by a foolish nation will I anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. What's that? That's the Gentiles. Who found, who found the word of Isaiah true? Gentiles. People that were no people. People that should, that not even close to Israel, churches like you, Christians. Why? Because the Lord put it in your heart to seek him. What's he doing to these fucking dumb black Hebrew ignorites? He's deafening their ears. They can't even hear me. I'm trying to help them. Gabar, how can I help you? Too late. But to Israel, he said, all day long have I stretched forth my hands onto a disobedient and gainsaying people. What's a gainsaying people? Contrary. Fucking stiff-necked, fucking rebellious motherfuckers. Next verse, a remnant remains. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. A remnant remains. We're talking about the remnant. We're talking about the fallen angels. We're talking about this little seven-eyed little beasts that are running around to and fro throughout all the earth doing the Lord's work. Getting steamrolled. I say then, has God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people for which he foreknew. He loves the fuck out of me. He loves the fuck out of me. He loves the fuck out of me. Cast away. Did he cast us away? No, he cast us down here to do his will. God has not cast away his people, cast away his people, which he foreknew. What? You know you not? It's W-O-T. What? Word of truth. What? No. What? Word of truth. What? W-O-T. What? No. No, what? Word of truth. What? W-O-T, word of truth. Word of truth. Know ye not what the scripture said of Elias? How he made intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Why, did is why does Israel hate? Why does wicked Israel hate why do they call us Satan? Why do they call the fallen angels? Why do they call us Satan? Because they don't want to be told what to do. Do you want to be told or not? Because I'm going to tell you what to do. That's what I do. I tell you what to do. Are you going to be a stiff-necked fucking Israelite and go, I'm not listening to you, J.D. Nyjah. Are you going to be a wicked nigga? Why does Israel call us Satan? Why did they call us? Why did they come up with these names for the fallen angels? Ah, they're giants. We're scared of them. No, we're trying to get you to go the right way, you fools. Stop it. Stop it, Gabar. Stop it, Tahar. Stop it, Street Ministers for Christ. Stop it, Joyce Myers, you joker. Stop it, TD Snakes. Stop it, Creep Show Dollars. Stop. Stop it. Lord, they have digged thy they have killed thy prophets and digged down thine altars, and I am left alone. 
But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. Seven, 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 seven. We have seven eyes who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then at this present time, also there's a remnant according to the election of grace. Be gracious. Don't talk about a dignitaries. It's not a small thing that I was called Satan. Satan and the devil, a fallen angel, a giant, a Nephilim. A, there's a lot of, a lot of bad things they say about us. And if by grace and it is no works, no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. How do we get grace? By believing. Do you believe I was sent? What can I do for you? How can I help you? Do not my messages follow? I don't, I don't. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Open your eyes, rise and shine, o awake to this word of truth. Do you think this is easy? Do you think it kind of is for me, but I mean, how would you like to know things that no one wants to believe? How would you like that? According as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. Like I've said, time after time after time, if you're here listening to my messages, you're about as blessed as, you, as it comes. You can't find, you can't find this truth out there. Try I'm looking, I'm looking for someone to blow my mind. I, I've given up. No one's going to blow my mind. Right, roommate? Who's going to blow my mind, roommate? Who's going to blow your mind? And, and David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense onto them. He's talking about GMS. He's talking about these wicked fucking Hebrew niggerites. He's talking about these fucking wicked ass Mormons. These whoever, whoever won't hear the words of this book. The truth is a motherfucker. My Lord ain't coming back to fuck around. Come on, sir. <laughs> and David said, oh, we're looking for David. These deaf, dumb, and blind kids are looking for David. Good luck with all that, Tahar. David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense onto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. New branches grafted in. I'll be back. We're talking about, we're going to stay on the subject. I'm fucking roll on a roll. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 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 And thank you again. Family, thank you for being here. This is this isn't no fucking around. I'll be back. Got one more in me. It's 9:30. I fucking wake up and I do this every day, people. Can you believe that? It's it's the same story. I woke up 
in the temple every day and set everything up for the singing. We'd all sing all morning and wake up the congregation, get the day going. We'd work all day and then we'd sing in the evening again. That's what Benjamin does. Wakes up early, sets the tone, hunts it noon and brings home the spoil in the evening. It's a fucking 12 hour day, people. And then it goes in the night and then another 12 hour day, six to six, six to six, six to 12 to six. All right, I'll be back. We'll, we'll finish off this Gentiles branch, Zerubbabel, temple, God, Jesus, seven eyes, fallen angels, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right, I love you believers. Tell your friends there's a prophet out here. I'm out.